you can see my green screen. Okay, well, yeah, that's, yeah. that's my fault. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Guys, sorry for the technical difficulties to start things off. It's, it's, it's very difficult to get these things underway when you're not as cool as AX. Because, I mean, he comes in with a British voice like this. He's costing, he's doing amazing things. He does all the, <laughs> I love it. All the behind the scenes work. And then you, you get a noob like Bryson who just hops in and, and there's nothing he can do. He just doesn't have that level of quality, that level of flair, that understanding. So <laughs> AX, if you're out in the crowd right now, just know. Oh, I, I hope he's watching. He's dying right now if he just heard that. That was hilarious. He's probably like, Bryson is just crashing and burning. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> oh my God. And the worst part is it's totally, oh, virtual background. Here we go. How are we looking? Uh... Don't have it yet, but I am in the tingy. I can see you. We, we can see you on the stream. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm here, but I need the green screen tingy in the back. Yeah, right now we just look, it's just looking incredible. Oh, because I'm on a new computer. I'm such a pleb. I, I have everything set up on my old computer and I completely, completely forgot. And now I'm like, I have green screen. Here we go. No, not that one. There we go. Awesome. You guys are getting all the behind the scenes lookouts. I know, right? right now. <laughs> this, 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 is, this is incredible stuff happening. Oh, man. But it's okay because, you know, the match, they're ready to go. The they're match, the match go. is ready. Me, me and Chief, they're ready. They're waiting for us. Me they and Chief are, waiting are the for only us. two who were not ready. But it's okay because you guys love us and we're out here and we're going to we're having we're going to have a good time all night. That's what matters. So here we go. Just know. Here we go. Ooh, uh, got there, him. We, there we go. We got, got him it. under pressure. We got some green. We got some green screen action. Now the last thing, the last thing that we need, guys, to get this going, so you know exactly who's going to be playing on the stream. As I do my best AX impression for the entirety of the stream. No, I'm, I'm not going to go that hard. But <laughs> we're going to do our very best here, and, and I'm thankful that I have Chief, who's the veteran, who's going to be running the show, and I'm just going to be his trusty and loyal steed along this journey. So <clears throat> I'm going to get the lineups. Yeah. Um, what the, uh, let me explain the format once for you guys tonight. <clears throat> we are doing a team event. So it's 3v3. And there's three sets maximum per matchup. The way it goes is each team captain is going to submit their lineups. Player A, player B, player C. Both, player, both teams do that. Both A's play each other in a BO1. Both player B's play each other in a BO1. Both player C's play each other in a BO1. On stream, we're going to do them one at a time. If you're not on stream, you can play all three of your matches at once, and the set is over. The team that wins two of the three games, or three, wins that set. Then you do the same process again. Send in your lineups, A versus A, B versus B, C versus C, play, team that wins two wins the set the first team to win two sets is the winner and it's at it that's it that's it all right so um so, let me make sure to get the lineups what yeah, yeah let's 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 see what these players are going up against i, I know that with axi the new season is getting ready to end chief and, and we've seen a, a myriad of lineups as you can see on the screen you can see the team that i've been running here pretty exclusively in terms of the Good old immortal plant, bird, and mech. And is there a chance that we could see some mechs coming out from the Axie GG guys? I know you work very closely with them, and you guys have been cultivating a hell of a breeding pool these last few years. So the mechs are definitely, in my opinion, maybe the strongest Axie in the game. It might have changed in the last week, but they're freaking sick. They're disgusting. The speed is on point. Um, you don't I see you don't have the dual blade. So you're going for like more damage, but with the dual blade, you can also speed up and be faster than like a yeah. bird with one or not dual blade with, oh, the, with um, the Arco. The Arco. The yeah. Arco, my bad. With the Arco. Um, because the Arco, like with the Arco on that mech, it literally you're doing more damage than a beast because skill is now broken in the other way. It used to yeah. be the worst thing in the game by far, and now it's like the best thing in the game. Funny how that happens with balance changing, but it's a thing that happens to all games, to be honest. And um, the Arco, Arco has just turned out to be the most incredible card. Yeah. Um, along with Hero, right? Those two are just ridiculous. 
Yeah, Arco absolutely shreds. Um, you know me, I, I don't have the the super meta version of, of the mech. He he does pretty good for himself, but yeah, if he had Arco, I think he'd be absolutely tremendous. And I mean, with the card draw and the free damage that just keeps coming through with that uh, with the with the zero cost on the back, it's pretty insane. Pretty pretty insane. Awesome. So. Who are we going to have coming up here first, Chief? We have the Axie GG guys, of course. And who is going to be their first opponent? I, I'm very excited to see Bloom play again. I, I remember the first tournament I watched this guy. He went all the way to the finals to only lose to Indes, who is, you know, arguably the best player in the world and has been for quite some time. And, and Bloom, being someone that, you know, is now kind of got his sea legs in, he's more of a veteran. He's getting into the space tournament after tournament. He's winning tournaments. Chief, what could we see out of this Axie GG team? So this team, I'm really excited to watch them as well. Um, all three of them, very strong players. They've all placed high in seasons. They've all placed high in tournaments. Uh, they're all good friends. You know, I love it. I love these team events because it really gives these people a chance to come together, play together, talk, strategize, and it, it's dope. It's hype. You're, you're not winning for yourself. You're winning for your team, and that's just a whole different feeling. And the reason we're showing them first is not only because they're all ballers, but they're playing against the team of really talented Ooh. up and comers. So they're playing against Starks PH and we have Marcus Starks with Chin Starks. Which I think it's a father and a daughter. Oh, that's I'm awesome. Not wrong. And then they're playing with L dude. All of these players, one of them was just in the finals of the E for E event that just ended maybe a couple minutes ago. Uh, they're good. They're skilled. They've been going to the finals of the E4E events. They've been really out there grinding, hustling, buying new axes, you know, investing in the game, investing in esports. And I really am excited to finally put them on stream against some big players and see how they do. Because yeah. something in me is telling me, I, I obviously have our, my guys as the favorites, but this is a team, you know, the game is changing. There's a lot of teams out there now that are very skilled. They're very talented. They're doing their homework. They're going shopping. They're doing it correctly. Exactly. And I can't wait to see how they perform this weekend, all these teams. Awesome. So, Chief, how long before we get the first match dialed up? I know these players are rearing at the chances to chop at the bits and get to each other. But how much longer do you think we can hop into game number one? All right. So the first one is going to be Rain versus Marcus Starks. And then we're going to have Bloom versus L Dude, and then Ruthless versus, versus Chin Starts. Awesome. Well, awesome. How about we go to another quick commercial, show the guys some of the amazing stuff that Axie, GG, and the Elite team is putting together, and then we'll come back to some amazing action and, and get things rolling. All right. Perfect, my dude. Awesome. Awesome. Give us one second, guys. We're going to run a quick commercial, and then we'll hop right back into the action. I'm a back, I'm sure I won't lose if I hold it. Your chances, your times are true. I'm free from the system. No stress in the money. I'm breaking the rules. What you doing? Axie GG. Hey, to play. You know what it is. Listen real quick. Play to earn. Bring your own money. Be your goddamn bounce. Middle finger up for the time that you lost. Stop asking yourself. Fuck, this is real? Be part of the movement. Get it killed. Be part of the movement. Action game and all day. What we doing? Awesome. That was amazing, amazing stuff. Um, so excited to, to, to keep seeing what is being built and, and, and how all of these different content pieces are coming and aligning together. Chief, it looks like we've lost the video again. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. No, I'm here. I'm here. Ooh, I, I was afraid for a second, guys. I was like, did we lose Chief? What, what could nope, potentially nope, nope. happen? We good, baby. We <laughs> are good. All right. And I gave them the green light. Awesome. Let's see if we can hop into game number one. I'm going to be looking. Let me perusing my friends list. It should be rain. Uh, that should be the first one that goes live. Rain, 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 go away. Come again another day. I got rain. I see him. I see him. <clears throat> are they in are they in game time action yet? It hasn't updated. Uh, no, me. they they should they're probably gonna start right now. Uh, they've been they've been given the green light. You know, that's always the that's always the thing, right? The the balance between I'd rather them wait a minute longer than go yeah. a minute early. Exactly. Um, or because it's usually not one, then it's like five. Like, oh wait, they're in round four. Ah, oh, shite. 
<laughs> oh no, that's not what we wanted. And Chief, what are, what are some, um, I, don't, I don't know how deep you've gone into the research of some of these players, but what is, if you had one Dark Horse team outside of Axie GG that you think could give you guys a run for your money later into the later stages of the tournament, which team are you very interested to see playing? I know months ago, when, you know, myself, Elijah, the CTG guys came up, you would always say, oh, these guys are the dark horses. We'll see what happens. But what teams are you looking at today and thinking that they could be uh, that next that, that next one to just pop up and, and really surprise us? So Guildfy obviously won the Galaxy tournament. Mm. So I'm very excited to see how they do. I made sure to get them involved in this tournament. Um, Buwa's GG has been showing themselves on the leaderboards. They've been really strong. So I'm also very interested to see how they do in tournament play. Because again, tournaments are different than ladder. Ladder is about time invested. Obviously, yes. you have to be good. I'm not taking away from any of their skill, right? But in, in tournaments, it's not random. Like you scout your opponents you know what they're using you know what their axi pool is you can make educated decisions which gives smart players a huge advantage you know against just good players right there's the difference between smart and good prepping homework uh deciding what team to pick against their whole pool yeah it's not an easy choice like when i see my players do it i'm sitting there and i'm like wow you guys are nerds and i'm a nerd <laughs> but you guys are nerds because you guys literally are accounting for like everything in like a 20 axi pool and that's insane that's insane math to do in your head and just be like okay boopity boppity beep with the beepity bop you know what i mean yeah and, and getting the percentages down like i mean dude i remember i watched um uh, the tournament with bloom and indes and indes it was it was actually match point for both of them it was the last series and and bloom had just beat indes with a particular team indes decided to come back and play the exact same lineup again and then after the game he was like yeah you know i knew the damages i knew the percentages i was, I was expecting it to kind of go the way i thought it would and you know he, he, he it's just these guys think of so much on the fly the energy counting the card counting the anti-stratting your opponent's team all of these things come into play during tournament time and you don't get to see that level of action and aptitude uh in in the arena so it's amazing to see uh, what some of these guys are able to come up with and especially in the team uh, the team mode chief where it's not just you playing one-on-one -on -one tennis you have to actually rely on your other players exactly exactly and that's when it gets really interesting because each set they pick new lineups right they decide who goes first who goes second who goes third and that means for example when i'm managing a team i generally put in my best player second yeah. because I always want them or first or second, but I like to put them in second because that means if the first player loses, you put the pressure on your best player to win game two and get it to game three. And then who you put first and third, how you do that is a whole nother thing, right? Yeah. Some teams were so confident in their, in their best player that they'd be like, okay, we're going to put our best player first, second, our second best player third and the first you know our worst player we're just gonna see what happens we're yeah. just gonna wing it no <laughs> pressure because if you play game one there's way less pressure on you unless you're playing game two and you won game one that's also oh my goodness even less pressure right but generally game one is the least pressure game if you lose your team can still bring it back and being able to think like that play like that that really makes the game so much more interesting it's not all or nothing it's not just you you can make a mistake your team can carry or your team can make mistakes and then you can bring it back and carry yeah i, I definitely agree with you i know when we played in the team tournament back during the ctg days i was that person that was the worst player you know i was lucky i had you know the likes of elijah and dave versus axi to help carry me to the finals because <laughs> if not man i would have been in rough shape so i definitely think you know having that team game and then also you being able to be into the discord chat and chatting with your team and getting the logical understanding of three players you know when, when you're battling it's like having coaches with you on the fly and i don't think a lot of people realize how much that synergy uh, plays an, an, an integral role into these team tournaments it's huge it's absolutely huge um, that is, you know, a part of Axie GG success. They sit there, the team, they're in call, they're talking to each other and they're figuring it out. Yeah. Uh, you got like 20, 30 seconds around. So you got like 30 seconds to like figure out all the things that could happen. And then you still have to decide, Absolutely. right? You still have to make your calls. 
And that's always the thing. And then like in hindsight is 2020. So afterwards, you know, there also has to be the, you can't have a team. that's like, well, I told you so. Durr, mer. It's like, no, nah, dude, yeah. it's like, ah, oh, <laughs> you were right. You know, like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Good, good call. You had a good read on that one, you know? And so it's like, Hmm, you know, and, and the, it's a lot like poker. That's why poker players like Elijah are doing so well in Axie yeah. because there's the RNG, right? If you took crits out of the game, it wouldn't be poker anymore. It'd be something else. And then people like Indes that do the math, they wouldn't lose. Yeah. They wouldn't lose. Like it'd be, they'd figure out how to win every game. It'd be like a, you know, chess kind of like, if you do the math and chess, right. The, if you know, and you just know, like, and the other guy doesn't know you just win. Like there's no competition. There's no RNG. There's no real luck. Okay. Card draw. Yes. But the math is stronger than just the card draw. You need the crits to keep the game exciting and fresh. It's the only way. I, I, I totally agree. And, and when you think about, you know, what the crits actually symbolize in the game, it, it's the symbolism that, you know, in life and, and, and not just in Axie, but in other sports as well, there's a level of luck. I mean, who remembers when the New York Giants played the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl? Guy catches the ball off of his helmet. That, that's a sure that's so much luck that goes into something like that so you know there is you know different elements to the game that keep us you know very much rearing off the ends of our seats and i think crits are a staple you take out crits oh my goodness imagine some of the reactions you could potentially miss in some of these games or, or a random bicycle kick in soccer i mean of course some of that is yeah skill, exactly come on. exactly that shit doesn't work like but one of a hundred times right or like maybe four of a hundred times that bicycle kick goes actually into the net and when you see it you're just like ah Oh, that was amazing yeah. and when you see it and it actually mattered because it was a big game then you're just like wow wow you know it's like people make three-pointers in the nba all the time but the guy that makes the three-pointer to win game seven of the nba finals that three-pointer is remembered right so we also in in axie you gotta you gotta be clutch you gotta have the read on your opponent again and we come back to the poker aspect basketball's different that's a pure like there's a lot more talent involved than yeah. luck, right? But there's still some luck. But then in a card game, there's luck. Because if there wasn't, it'd be too, it'd be mono. It'd be boring. It would just be like, same thing all the time. You could predict the games. You'd see the, the lineups and you'd know like, oh, it's going to happen like this. Yeah. And just so you guys know, the delay is because the friends list is giving us some issues. If it continues not to work, I'm telling them to move on and do the second game first just to keep the show going. Yeah, we, we got to keep the show on the road. It's new, it's fresh, it's exciting. We haven't hopped into any action yet, but rest assured, the action is coming. It's myself, it's Chief, it's big time, it's Axie GG, it's Guild 5. We have so many amazing guilds that are going to be in this tournament today, and it's any time you get to the point where we're talking about the Elite Open, they've been running these for months, for months, for months, and allowing so many people to earn an Axie Infinity and take their game to the next level in these tournaments. And if you think about where the future of Axie Esports is going, it's in these tournaments, these community-led tournaments that really do push the envelope forward. Axie does an amazing job, but we also have to do an amazing job hosting amazing tournaments and having an amazing audience. You guys have been stellar. So if there is one team in the chat, let us know, who are you rooting for today in this tournament? Uh, unfortunately, we were unable to get our loot squad guys in there, but I know, I think the Levox guys in there, I'm, 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 I'm believing we have a, a very insane number of teams. And also, Chief, I was, I'm not aware, did uh, the MT8, the Meditate guys get into this tournament? Sadly, uh, they were not able to. It's I think it's 1437's birthday today. Oh. I hope I, I'm not getting him. <laughs> Happy birthday, bro. I'm sure you're not watching. And if you are, <laughs> Stop watching and go celebrate. <laughs> um, I th uh, Pozo Sebastian is at the live event in Argentina with Polaco and Fram from oh, our awesome. team. So they just weren't able to make it. Sadly, I really wanted them to take place. I really want to beat them. You know, it's all love. <laughs> but it's fun man it's yeah. fun because elijah's the dude that has beaten us in the last couple months right we haven't lost many tournaments but he's one of the guys that has come through and slashed his way through like multiple axie gg players yeah. and made it to the top and done the tingy you know so like i want to see that i want to i want to see that high high level competition and there's uh, there's plenty of people right now there's so many people hungry in this scene it's actually quite insane Oh my um, goodness. The the competition is growing. The people are hungry. 
Okay, yeah. wait. Boom, boom, boom. We're switching it up. Switching, switching up. Switching it up. Uh, because there's issues. Oh, with the friends list. and it looks like we even have Hasheki in the chat. He's from MT8. Hasheki, you've been another player who's been doing uh, uh some some some, it. some amazing things, and and you know we we've always been checking out for the amazing work that all of these different guilds and esports teams are are doing. But yeah, you, you look at Elijah, you look at the quality of his game. I still want the Elijah versus Indes show match. If if V2 happens. When Battles V2 happens, I need an Elijah Indes show match on day number one. Because for me, you look at the quality of these players and what they've been able to demonstrate over time. Indes just tried, true and tested. And Elijah, very much like myself, came in the last few months and in his own domain of esports. You said he's been killing it, you know? So it's like when you get these high level players, it's like, what's the next step? It's getting them in these different areas and arenas. And, and Chief, maybe we see a finals where it's Elijah versus Indes at Air 22 Axie yes. Championships next year. Well, both of us will be casting. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And I really hope that is the case. That would be freaking amazing. That would be... I would literally set something on fire just <laughs> to emphasize the fire of that matchup live at an event for... I would put so much money on that. Just... It would be so much fun. I still will. I still will. If anyone wants to take Elijah against Indez, best of seven... I'll put down the Skrilla and we, I'll, I'll cast it too. I will, I will, you know, on Christmas day, I don't care, man. That would be hype. <laughs> oh, it could that be, would be so freaking uh, hype. That would be absolutely exceptional. I mean, look at the NBA. The NBA loves doing these Christmas events where it'll be like the Lakers versus the Celtics and all of these amazing teams. And we see LeBron, we, you know, for years we got to see LeBron go up against Kobe and, you know, now LeBron and KD or Giannis. Dude, these are like two Titans. And I think we need to see more of these amazing matchups where people can, bet on their favorite players and see these best of seven show matches and get a very good sense of, of not only who's the best in the arena and the leaderboard, but who can consistently demonstrate a, a high level of, of, of top pro skill. And I mean, Indes, in my opinion, has been number one in the game for a while. Elijah has been a, cl has been a close second for me. And then after that, I think everybody else is doing well in the leaderboard, but we, we, we definitely need to see more players coming up in these tournaments if you really want to to, 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 to stake your claim as the best in the world. And, and Chief, another thing I wanted to touch on and get your thoughts, a lot of a, a lot of high-level players miss some of these tournaments. And for me, it's uh, I, I hate when I see high-level players miss tournaments because ultimately it's like, these are the moments your fans get to see you on the higher on the higher level. The fans get to see you rearing and thinking and putting that high level gameplay that you do in these. Let YouTube me videos. get to, get to you on that, but the match has started, my Ooh. friend. Well, they are in. So, rain. Let me know when you see it. Oh my goodness! Three, two, one, Lego. And, I and might on have... that point, on that point, I personally in my tournaments. I try as hard as I can to get all of the best teams involved. So, you know, I went and got Guild Fi, I went and got Buaz, even though they're newer teams, because I've been seeing them making moves. Obviously, CTG, MT8, Axie GG, we're all invited. Uh, YGG as well. So I, I tried, right? I tried. And the only way, you know, you gotta you gotta be make yourself notice, basically. That's really the only way to do it is you gotta make yourself notice or you gotta catch the sign up time. But catching the sign up time is an issue because it's literally like minutes sometimes. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Well, all right, what do we got here? We got a triple plant matchup from Rain up against Mobile Legends player who is L Dude. Oh yeah, this is. I don't know um, why he changed his name. That just confuses everybody. <laughs> but hey, I'm pretty sure sure that's L dude, and he's working with a bird bug plant. Yeah, it, you know, I, I look at these lineups, Chief, and I'm like, wow. You, you see rain, you see the flare, you see him coming in with this dynamic nature of a triple plant coming into game number one. Definitely catching, I think, uh, you know, the bird, the bird team completely off guard. Rain, 100% doing his homework here, and and based off the early looks, I think he's played this absolutely exceptional. Uh, yeah, that turn up in the midline is just disgusting. Like it just absolutely wrecks the bird. So that means the bird has to rush its attacks because it knows it's going to get backdoored eventually. Yeah. Um, the bird's attacks aren't going to do that much damage. It's not really meh. So part of me says maybe he doesn't even backdoor the bird. Maybe he leaves the bird alive and he gets through the bug first. 
because any one of his three axes does fine against the bird in the in the late game, right? Yeah. Um, he just needs to kill that bug. The bug in the middle with a lot of card draw and some crits could turn the tide. Yeah. But I'm thinking, nah. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that bird is going to be a handicap here. Yeah, the bird is just seems like he's going to be going, going away. And, and I agree with you. If Rain gets the, he gets the right card draw. Yeah, you know, you clean up the bird three card combination as easy as you'd like. But if not, you have to focus on knocking out the front two guys. Uh, that bu that bug is going to be a bit pesky. But dude, I, I think he has the, the, you know, the necessary qualities to win. Because if you look in the midfield and having that head soon, he's going to be able to pretty much stunt the growth of, of both the bird and the, and the bug in the mid to late game. Yeah. Uh, also, um, Rain is on the right side. And on the left side, we have El Dude. Now move us around. On stream, since our heads, since our heads are on in, in the dinghy, and, and that's the dinghy. Uh, we can a, move them make, around. Make sure to throw or that or that we can do that as well. Do you want to throw up the scoreboard, good sir? Yeah, let me let me let me get to that. I was having like a technical difficulty with it, so I think it oh, like okay. when when it re-rendered, it went down. But I'll um I'll try to get it back up after this uh, after this round. But we are um, easy. Here we, we go. We don't want to break it. We don't want to break it. So we're going into round one. It is game time. We are underway. A little bit of a delay, but it happens. So Rain's coming in with the early damage, shutting off the zigzag with his hot butt. Yeah, that was um, that was a great a great play coming in early game from Rain. He does get to even save one energy. And, and the beauty in this for Rain is he doesn't have to worry about any energy steal for the entirety of the game. The only thing he has to deal with is the card discard. So very much the good start for Rain, wouldn't you say, Chief? Yeah, absolutely. And what he would, what he does here is because he doesn't have any beasts or beast moves really to get through this plant, you want to use some early damage and um, kind of bank on the fact that the other player is going to pass early, save their energy, save their resources. Um, and it worked out really well for Rain right there. Not going to lie. Oh. So here's the here's the counter and the brick wall from El Dude. Oh. He's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Problem is, Rain is going over the top right into Birdie Boy. Oh, Hello. That is absolutely Hello. exceptional coming in from Rain. Beautiful play He's coming out. He's not going to get the kill. He's not going to get the kill. The defense was just enough from El Dude. So that's rough for Rain, actually, because he's down on energy. And that bird is just sitting back there now, chilling. Yeah, but, but the beauty in it, uh, Chief, is the bird can no longer use the egg bomb because he, he uses the egg bomb. He's out of here in, 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 true. in an instant. So that is a good call. That is a good shout, as Indus would say. <laughs> uh, he now has the egg bombs and the balloon, and he can do some tingies. And if he does, he will die. But maybe he can take someone with him. We'll oh. see how this turns out. And there it is, the save coming in from Rain, but the card discard is going to rain down. Two cards going to be discarded into the graveyard, but I don't think Rain will be too unhappy about that. Not much damage is going to take place. I love how you just dropped like three rhymes in there, just like low key. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Just to the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and look at this, look at this play. It's just not looking good for Mobile Legends. He still only has the egg bomb, so there's not enough damage for him to even get through Rain's initial plan. He's really in rough shape here, Chief. Well, he could. He could go egg, egg, balloon. He will definitely kill the plant. He's already seen a uh, watering can, I believe. All he he has no cards. We know this. He doesn't know this. But he's used. He just used another cattail. Mm. He, you know, he's used some cards. So you could just go for the trade. Oh, 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 wait. Yeah, don't use the eggshell if you got the hair. Yeah, I think he was waiting on the hair because he didn't. He just does not want that bud to go down this early into the game. But the brick wall is going to work out a little bit for for Rain, and he's able to even keep him alive a little bit. But uh, he's going to go heel. to the death. Yep. There's the heal and the kill. Well oh, done. Here's but, the, oh double steals oh, though. Oh double my god. Double steals from rain. Oh my god, that's absolutely insane. Give me that energy. Give it here. Oh my goodness. So we are in a two v three, but two of L dudes' axes are like dead. Yeah, that was. Um... So here we go. Oh, Rain, you naughty little thief. And he's going to pick up the kill. This is looking very, very good for Rain. He's got the turnip as well, so he can play the turnip however he chooses. Oh, and, and there's more bird action going to come down. And then look, he's still not using those egg bombs. And then we talked about it, Chief. He's just not going to be able to get much off of those egg bombs for the remainder of the game. Yeah, they're kind of dead cards until he decides to kill the bird. Um, That did no damage at all. And Rain's in a tough spot here. 
Yeah. Well, dude, doing tingies. Doing absolute tingies. Oh, and he's not going to get the kill, but he does go with the egg bomb. The bird is going to go down. Say bye-bye, birdie. Bye-bye, birdie. <laughs> so we're going to have the 1v1, and the Hatsune was triggered. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but he loses two cards on his back axie. But he there... gets rid of the pincer, and he does some good damage there. So Rain's in a good spot here. Oh. Oh, and this and they is... they both save energy. It's just wonderful play coming out from Rain, knowing exactly what he needs to do. Again, stopping the potential card discard. And now he can just go all in and look to finish the game off. I think a quick, a clean brick wall and Rain should be able to take this, right, Chief? Yeah, that Hatsune was pretty clutch. Like that went kind of, it went really fast because they chained, they, they oh, moved. Oh, boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that's one oh, way to end Oh my God. It. But the Hatsune was huge because it gave Rain a turn where he could just chill and pass um and and uh do the tingy right he just did the tingy again it was and, easy claps and, and then just a nice little crit to add insult to injury rain and axie that gg that was rough man uh, game number one going the way of axie gg I, I i think we looked at the teams and we predicted a a very similar kind of esque matchup but chief what, what are your thoughts what can uh, what can they do to get back into the game in game number two well, I think they just have to keep playing their game plan. You don't switch it up. You don't try to get crazy. You just go and you, you're like, okay, they won game one. We just continue. That's it. You and, just continue. And do you think it was a, a bit of that homework, that anti stratability of rain uh, that, that kind of really set the tone for this early matchup? Absolutely. Absolutely. It definitely, definitely was for me uh, the turning point as it usually is is the is the the team selection the scouting that is how you do the tingy that is how you win the matches in competitive play you got to know what they're using and you got to plan and be ready you got to play something that is consistent against their pool not against one team if you go all in just for one team uh it generally doesn't work out too well yeah i, I totally agree with you i am um... And, and, and now, I guess, you know, it's, it's a best of three. So even if they lose this game, uh, are they out, Chief, if they lose this next matchup? Or, or what's no. kind of the, the criteria from here? All right. So basically, the next match is going to be Marcus Starks versus Bloom. It's 1-0 for Axie GG in set one. So if Bloom wins this game against Marcus Starks, then Axie GG's team will win set one. That means they're going to go to set two and they're going to do this all over again. The first team that wins two sets wins and moves on to the next round. Oh, I almost ran a commercial. I think I just ran a commercial, Chief. <laughs> oh, did. Hey, but we're still here. We're still here with them. It's all good. <laughs> Thanks. There you go, Community Gaming. We love you. Thank you for having this awesome platform. That makes our life so much easier, not gonna lie. So Bryson, I just realized the call's gonna end in five and a half minutes. So as soon as we go into the next game, I'm gonna end the call and make a new one. Awesome. That sounds good. I, I, I really do um I really do think this format is gonna be gonna be, be quite awesome and we're able to kind of keep it going the zoom calls and things of that sort hopefully we don't run into any <laughs> any issues bringing bringing the zoom back up Streamlabs has been giving us quite uh quite the time here recently but yeah i'm looking forward to seeing bloom again he's probably one of my favorite axie ggers up until this point of course uh, i have a strong affection to end as well but bloom being that young gun i i just feel like he has a lot of qualities and and seeing if he can close out set number one I think he's very clutch. He's very he's shown himself also in the LSL. Uh, he did he won the finals and he won the first event. Uh, he's been absolutely killing it. This this young man is a savage. He I, I can't say enough about him. Really, he's super nice. He works hard. He's always there for his teammates. He's exactly what you want on your team. Every team needs a bloom. Yes, and everyone knows where the flower blooms, great things will happen. So, Bloom, we're waiting for you. The, the spotlight is on you guys in game number two. And, and you know, we'll see if, 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 you know, they can get back into the game uh, and, and really force this out to be a, a third match uh, in, in the first set. So it's, it's going to be interesting. The first game kind of went according to how I, we pretty much expected it with that team comp. But we'll see what type of anti-striding we'll have in the game number two. 
Well, Marcus is also, you know, I think Marcus was the one that was just in the finals of the E for E event. Yeah. And he, uh, he, he's a beast. He's, I, he was in the finals last week as well, I believe, or two weeks ago. So not a one timer, a very strong player. And today is his chance on stream against Bloom. And they're in, buddy. Are you ready? Yeah, they, they are in. We are in, Chief. And everyone looks like they're like positioning their axes towards the top side. I don't know if this is like some type of uh, pro strat that I don't know anything about, but, but it's, it's forcing me to have to change the face cams over and over and over again. <laughs> well, you want to either, either have them top or bottom. That is kind of up to the player. Um, But yeah, I like I put mine at the top. I yeah. don't know if that really matters, but I put mine at the top just because that's how I like it. So when I look at these matchups, it's very interesting because the shrimp is kind of a dead card. You don't want to really backdoor this Axie. It, no, nah, not with the mosquito and all the defense and it's a big yak and it's majestic and beautiful. No, 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 you don't want to do it. Yeah. So this, this mech from Marcus is sick. That is a sick mech. Plus he's rocking the double cute bunnies. Oh, and look at the aqua eyes on the mech. He's going to be a bad boy for sure. Aqua eyes, aqua ears. Oh my goodness. So that's a full speed mech with the two, you know, it's got the three beast moves. So it's not the fullest of full speeds, but it's pretty fast. And it's going to be able to tear this plant up much better than this aqua. If Bloom can win the early game and get through this plant quickly, then Marcus is screwed because the aqua is too fast and will just eliminate the mech. Yeah. Yeah. The, the mech has but, to, he has to get the mech into the early game. Marcus does if he really wants to to have a good chance of closing this one out yeah marcus needs to get that damage off early get into the 3v2 because then bloom's in a really tough spot really really tough so the early game is going to be huge for marcus here and and, and you know I, I haven't seen that type of a mech and and it looks like that that cute bunny is like a kind of a, a early to mid game play uh and, and it might actually be able to cause some damage depending on how the speeds end up going up with these guys but I still too am, am very interested to see with, with Bloom having the ability to destroy energy on the plant. I, I think this is uh, an Axie GG staple. I've seen a couple of these guys playing this cheap. How are these plants utility uh, being leveraged across Axie GG as a whole? And do you think this is like the viable setup for him in this current situation? So uh, this these new, these Gota plants, cattail, watering can, they are like maximum, maximum utility. Because let's say you play against a discard team, right? They play Pincer, Pincer, Parasite. You play Cattail, nothing happens. You just like yeah. change what cards you have, basically, right? You play against an Aqua, you got the watering can, you get some energy. The Goda is just like a much stronger Sirius. You don't get the energy, but like you do a lot more damage and the enemy has to play around it. That's kind of the whole point of energy steal or destroy. Yeah. Um, but these cute bunnies, you know, they worry me a little bit for Bloom because cute bunny is just hard. Y you can never be completely right. You always have to kind of predict, right? You always have to kind of predict what's going to happen. And that is always a tough game to play. I never want to be the guy that has to be like, hmm, is he going to cute bunny me this round or next round? Exactly. Cattail helps a lot for that, obviously, because that's like a, you know, you don't need your cattail for the offense. You just want to kill with it or a, a catch with it. And you know what's um what what, what I consider really interesting about uh, Marcus's lineup? Uh, that that plant that, that plant is going to be a bit pesky to deal with uh, for for the late game, uh, just because it's it's almost it's it's an immortal plant. It's very similar to uh, the plant that Bloom is running at the back. I would say the only difference is that Mosquito uh, is going to have a slight advantage. So if the one v one does happen, you know Bloom's going to want to be in a position where he has ample energy and, and you know he's able to get the hot butt off you know before uh, to to really put himself in a staple position to close it out. Yeah, so I was just thinking about that um, in my mind like two, three minutes ago, like, hmm, Zigzag versus Mosquito. It feels to me like Mosquito is... Oh, we just lost Chief. Uh, this was um, very much expected to happen with uh, the Zoom call going down, but we hop as soon as we lost Chief, we hop in directly into the action. So Chief, I'm going to need you to get back in here as quickly as possible and until then i will hold down the fort and it looks like some early damage coming out but not too much is going to happen on either side from 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 round number one very much in a similar state three energy on bloom and four on marcus 
So very, very good position. And bear with us while we try our very best to get Chief back in. Oh my goodness, no, I don't want to update Zoom. You can leave me alone. Awesome, great stuff happening. Oh, more more damage coming in. It looks like the double Gota. Oh, but he misses his first two attacks. And look at that. The energy destroy is going to take place in Bloom. Uh, he's going to be able to get some damage there. A, a little bit on his side, but Marcus is still in a, in a very good position. A lot of damage is going to come into this round. And look at this. More damage is raining down. It's going to be shots. Shots are completely fired. The trades are going to be coming in. And it looks like... Looks like both of these players are going to be able to get something out of this. Oh, and it is even going to be a hot button to close it out. And look at this. The trades are coming in. So now very interesting situation with the mech. Oh, and even the critical. The critical is coming in. And let me see if we can get Chief back here. Chief, where are you, my friend? Looks like Chief has set up another Zoom. Bear with me while we get Chief on the Zoom. Oh. Chief, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Chief? Yes, sir. I can hear you, but I think my um, I think my face is now frozen <laughs> on the screen, but it's okay. Let me see. Uh, possibly. Yeah, it must have been another Zoom mistake, but it looks like uh, we got you back into the action kind of late. Bloom is is having an incredibly rough time, and it looks like we're well, gonna be going into game what number happened. three. Bloom DC'd. Oh, he did. Yeah, Bloom DC'd. Um, that's why he's not doing anything with nine energy and all his cards. Uh, but the way the tournament works, Marcus chooses. If he gives a rematch, props to him. If not, that's totally fine. It is what it is. They are not forced to give a rematch. It's just common courtesy in some of those instances. It correct? is just common courtesy. Some people do it. Most don't. Um, we can't do... Like, obviously, that was clearly a DC, you know? Like, even if yeah. Bloom was losing by a little bit, he wouldn't just stop playing. I know that, but his opponent doesn't know that. The viewers don't know that. So I don't want to make judgment calls. Like, so it's just, it's on the player. They can make the judgment call. They can either be the good guy, because I'm sure he knows. But at the same time, it is what it is, you know? Yeah, it, I guess we're going to have to wait and see what, the, what happens behind the scenes with the refs and and, and kind of what, what the next course of action is. But yeah, it, it seemed like, you know, Marcus, he, he, he got his team comp uh, correct in that in that sense. I think Bloom was slightly behind, not saying he could have made it back in. But uh, Mar Marcus, I think he did a pretty a pretty good job there managing the game. And, and, and early to mid game, I think Bloom played uh, incredibly well. Just maybe uh, that DC and, 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 and a couple of plays difference, you know, maybe we see a difference in the game. He, he played great until he wasn't playing anymore. Mm, you know, it, yeah. so it, 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 it happens. It happens. And by the way, you're moving again. You're good. You're good. You're chilling. Awesome. <laughs> so I, I guess um, we're going to wait and, and see what, what type of action comes in. Uh, win against, win, wins against Bloom in the tournament assuming, don't come often. I'm assuming uh, it's going to be 1-1. One, one. We're going to go to a game three. Um, because that's just what I'm used to seeing. So I'm assuming they're just going to go to game three. So we're going to have Reg versus uh, Kristen. I think it was Kristen. Let me look at that name one more time. Chin. Chin Starks. Chin, Chin Starks. Chin Starks. PH. Chin Starks. And he's no, going to be playing... Uh, against Ruthless Reg. Where is Ruthless on my friends list? You should have him. Let you know we should have a second. So make sure to. Let me see. Doopity -doop I have him. Ruthless. Ruthless. Uh, ruthless Reg. Ruthless Axie GG. Ruthless. 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 Me me going here and searching the friends list to find him. I bloom. Oh, I have Rain, and we're looking for Ruthless, Ruthless, Ruthless. It's a long name. Okay, hold on. Yeah, can you just, if you shoot me as a, if you just shoot I, me as thing, I can, I can add him really quick. Type in Ruthless and see if it pops up, but I'm asking. Goods, not goods. 
Goods, not goods. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, let me. Uh... But I also sent him. Uh, I sent him the tingy. I let him know we need. We need the ad. Oh, I found him. I just shot him a shot him an ad request. Ruthless. What a ruthless guy. What a ruthless guy. And, and, and going into game number three, hopefully he's taking no prisoners in his ruthlessness. All right, he's adding now. I got confirmation. Very good. Good job, everybody. I love the communication. Keeping it rolling. Thank you very much. We will go straight into round two after this. We had some delays, but the thing is, it's okay to have delays at the beginning as long as the background matches are going. Yeah. Because the first round is always, always, always the biggest pain in the ass because you got 32 teams playing in a system that maybe half of them completely understand because sorry to say it, you guys don't all read the rules. And then you ask me questions that have, are in the rules, you know, but it's cool because we out here, we learning, we're learning together. And that's why we have these awesome mods. We appreciate you guys. Almi, Cybercoms, Lunga, Mignonas. You guys are freaking awesome. Really, really appreciate Absolutely. you. Thank you for your hard work. And, and, and to, teamwork makes a dream work, man. No, none of us could do this alone. And to, Doing this stuff alone is just, it, it's actually brain breaking. I've seen it break many casters that have tried to do the, the, the background and the casting at the same time. I used to do it all by myself, all of it. And it was insane. Oh my goodness. It was nuts. <laughs> and I would die. I would literally die. Like after the shows, I would just sit there like this in my chair and just be like, never again I, I feel like i'm swimming never underwater again. just doing this right now and i'm only i'm only managing like the transitions and the overlays and i feel like i'm doing a a, a rough job but it's it's okay it's, it's day number one we're getting our sea legs wet and, and tomorrow will be uh, much more clean much more open much more exciting but regardless the axie action is here to stay we are building we are growing we're creating uh, some magical moments together so it's going to be a wonderful axie filled day regardless of how many technical difficulties come through nothing can stop chief and i hey bro honestly you're doing a great job um it is a process it is a different thing i worked on this for two years and i still and i still see people that do a better job of the you know the the production side than me it it, it that's one part of it and you know if someone wants to you know help me with the production to take it to the next level i'm always down but at the same time i ain't gonna break my back because for me it's about the entertainment and we've been here for 52 minutes we've had two games but we haven't had any dead silences because we're out here bro we're having fun we're enjoying we're well, there's no rush we're gonna have games all night and i guarantee yeah. it's only gonna get better and sometimes the issues are just that the client you know with three million players the game has issues sometimes. Yeah. It just happens, man. It just happens. Oh, I, I I thought about potentially doxing Elijah. I saw that he was in a match. I was gonna click it just to see, just to drop a quick reaction and see what he's working with. <laughs> All right, they are playing. It is going. It, it's not uh, watchable yet, but it's coming up. Awesome, awesome. I am looking for ruthless Reg. I have him. I have him on my friends list. Let's jump back in and see if we can start watching. He is playing. It is time. I'm excited to see what their teams are. I'm excited to see what the lineups are in this match. Oh boy. Who's going to bring home set one? Who's going to bring home set one for their team? Who's going to go into set two feeling good? And who's going to go into set two feeling stressed and frustrated? And like, ah, no. Yeah, I know if Axie GG loses, Bloom's going to be kicking himself for disconnecting. Yeah, and you know, sometimes you have those technical difficulties and and, and it's unfortunate. But Chief, I think we're ready to get into the action. Can you hit we us with are, a sir. three? Three, two, one, let go. Boom. Here we are. We are back. Mmm. So as many of you know, this is something I want to talk about. The Aqua nerfs. Because I know that most scholarships got absolutely wrecked. And I'm gonna say it one time and one time only. Yes, Aquas were too strong. No, it's not the manager's fault for using what is too strong. If the game is made in a way that something is too strong, then people are gonna use it. That doesn't mean it's okay to just completely hard nerf it. Yeah. Not gonna say it again, that's my opinion. But the thing is, they nerfed pure Aquas. These Aquas are very far from pure. Oh my goodness. If you look, we're looking at dual blades, pumpkins, arcos, riskies, cuckoos, you know, like we got all kinds of crazy stuff in here. So 
these aquas still work really well. The, the, the hybrid aquas are still very effective. And I love this team from Reg because it's very different. It's very random, but it's awesome. I, I think but for Chin, oh boy, Chin's got a sick team too yeah. with double backdoor. Yeah, I, I would have never expected Reg to come out here. And we've been seeing this flair and the style coming out from Axie GG. At, and, and this time we're seeing him coming out earlier. It was the double, the triple plan. Now it's the triple aqua, everything chop suey. And even the backdoor beast is going to have quite the time trying to get rid of these aquas because he's not super effective, Chief. He does 15% less damage. Exactly. I was just thinking that the beast is kind of useless in this matchup. Obviously, it still does damage. It's not useless um but like you don't want to backdoor an aqua and not kill it right so unless you've got like ronin ronin or like triple nut maybe like backdoor triple nut and you catch the aqua doing nothing i'm not even sure if that kills it probably does it eh, ah actually i don't know so yeah you're correct that beast is in a rough spot yeah for that the midliner with the serastis could make some plays. He could be a hero. He could be a hero. But I like this matchup for Reg. I'm not going to lie. I do like the matchup for Reg, even though Chin has some outplays. So this is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool little thingy we got going on here. Yeah, and I'm very much a firm believer that if, if Reg can, if he can deal with the, the double card discard that could come out from the plant in the early to mid game, I, I think he puts himself in a position to do it incredibly well. He has so many Nemos, so he's gonna he's not going to have a lack of energy. And even with the pumpkin on the plant, I mean, on the aqua, excuse me, it's going to be hard for, 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 for Chin to get get through these aquas. Even with the Serastis, it just seems like there's a lot of, of diversity in, in Ruthless Reg's lineup. So it's going to be interesting to see how these things play out. I love how you keep having like a British word <laughs> slip in. <laughs> Every now and, and then, right? The the Serastis is interesting though, because you do not want to blow the Serastis early. You really, really want to use it when your midliner is up to bat, basically, right? When he's getting attacked. You do not want to waste it for an attack. You need it to be like your attack plus your defense. You need to get full value in this matchup for sure because the Serastis is literally like the best card that Chin has. Um, so it's going to be really interesting how Chin plays the early to mid game and how Chin gets through this pumpkin aqua. Look at all these Nemos, man. There's going to be so much energy. These aquas look to me just like a firing squad, just like... Brrr, brrr. Yeah. <laughs> and, and chief if you're if you're chin do you think he should go for the you know the backdoor play early to mid game he has to get the backdoor in with the double serastis to have any uh real shot at getting a kill on the on the aqua but if he is able to do so and and, and catch ruthless with his pants down he's, he's gonna be able to make some plays here i think Ooh, there's one pumpkin oh. i think there's one pumpkin so that's big for chin get the pumpkins out of the way didn't use a pumpkin themselves so nice little card draw for ruthless but uh, that pumpkin feels you know fairly valuable to be used round one ruthless was predicting like a you know a rush a bull rush didn't happen so now chin has a slight advantage oh but look at all these beast attacks and the risky risky combo is oh my very goodness painful. very painful it's gonna be like 160 oh 170 180. Oh, and there it is. He's going to rain down shots. He's going to get the 156 off and a very, very good start from Ruthless. And and Chin does just enough to keep the plan alive. And maybe that's exactly what he wanted. He's going to have about six energy going into the next round. Yeah, Chin stayed alive, drew cards a lot. Look at how many cards Chin oh. has. Oh, so my goodness. Double Serastis is in hand and the brick wall is here plus the energy so chin is killing it oh this my is goodness a good position right now for chin and there holy it is holy crap and there it now is now chin can go ham now chin can do tingies oh and luckily luckily reg for... though puts up the shield he predicts the back door you think it's gonna be enough though you, th you think this is gonna I be enough to keep will. him up I th without a crit i think it will be enough Oh, because he is going to get the beast crit, but it's going to do less damage because it's on a dusk. It's going to be close, Chief. It's going to be quite close. The 156 coming out from the Serastis. Oh, and it's a double back door. He's going to be trying to rain as much damage as he can. But is it going to be enough? The shots are coming in. It's only 122. It's not going to be enough. Oh, my goodness. The Axie in the mid is alive. 
the back one's gonna live as oh well my goodness with just just about as much not much more oh just enough chief it's just enough well played from ruthless he gets the damage off and now what's those going to happen cuckoos. those double cuckoos actually made him survive that was kind of crazy and look at this oh chin my is now gosh going all out chin is chin is getting uh very nervous here and he and got no value to, He's trying to one shot with the oh, wing horn. Oh, oh, that is absolutely exceptional work. He's not even going to get the kill on the wing horn. And look at the, the ruthless rage. Oh my and goodness. That's it. Oh my goodness. What a match. Both the axes almost oh, dying, my God. but not quite. And Reg brings it home for Axie GG in the first set. Well done. Well done. Oh. Wow. And, and, and wow, wow, wow. And at first glance, those that's 20 or 30 HP. It's a game of margins, but Ruthless Reg, he predicts it at the right time. He gets the cuckoos off and he takes set number one for Axie GG. Well done, well done, well done. That was perfect. Chief, what? After seeing the way they've come out and, and, and really Ruthless Reg going with the triple aqua, that's gotta be a counter. It's gotta be something that he's been working on, uh, bringing out, testing for some time. Is that a team that he's running in, in, in the leaderboard or is this just something that he's been kind of tinkering in the background? That's something that he uses in tournaments. It's a, I don't think he uses it that often in leader in arena, but he definitely uses it here and there um uh in tournaments because it's one of those teams that if you're not ready for it then you're in a tough spot but if you are ready for it then uh you can definitely shut it down yeah that was um that was insane that was insane guys i'm trying to do my best ax scb impression trust he's he's a much better caster than me but i'm here i'm i'm thankful to be casting alongside chief in this moment and sometimes i can sprinkle in uh, some British flavor, and, and it sounds okay. Hopefully, a AX is watching and he's thinking that I'm not doing too bad of a job, but uh, hats off to Axie GG. They're going to take set number one. We're going into set number two, and who do we have coming up for us, Chief? Uh, we are going to... They have to do the new lineups, so they're doing lineups currently, so if you want to do a quick commercial break, right now is a great time. We can also do a giveaway. Uh, let me see. Uh, Let's do a giveaway yeah, while I we do the commercial. I, I would love, I would love to see a giveaway coming in. And guys, remember, this is my first time trying to be the person that deals with all of these transitionary things and and, and handling uh, the the screens and all that. So if things aren't as professional the first time around, trust we will do a better job uh, in the future, making it a little bit cleaner as the tournament. One continues. thing you can do, B, uh, at the top, there's a line. There's a white line. I don't know what it's from, but you can remove that by your name right now, currently. Uh, I don't think it. It won't allow me to like remove this, it. It's just like a white line. I don't know what it's from. It's probably something you made really small, and it's just sitting there. I'm trying to click on it. It won't even. It won't even let me. It won't it. even. It's like no, nah, no. dude. No. Nah. I, I wonder if it was like a <laughs> not a, a big deal. A transition. I just glitch. wanted to point it out. Oh, I think I might have found it. What is that? Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna remove it. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. We we've gotten rid of the line. And it looks like Lang is setting us up for a giveaway. We're gonna we're gonna run a quick commercial break. So stay tuned. There it we is. So be... you guys get two giveaways. We're gonna do 15 leet in each of them. Each giveaway is for 15 leet. You will have to join the leet Discord to claim your prize. So I'm gonna drop the Discord link in the chat one time for everybody. And everybody else, you know, make sure we're we're guessing numbers. So we're gonna drop uh Lung is gonna tell you between one and 200 i think we should do Lunga. one and 200 oh it's already going it is already going chief chief do you think it's time that we bust out a, a, a freestyle for the audience can you find me a beat chief right now i'll bust out an axie gg theme freestyle for the chief, for, for the audience right now as the giveaway goes on if you can drop me a crazy beat in our chat I'll drop you a beat, okay? Yep, yep. I, I just got a couple beats from my boy in Germany, oh. so I'm just gonna drop you one of those. Yeah, give me some, give me some flavor. We're gonna freestyle right now, guys. Uh, giveaway. Make sure you make sure you get in on that. You can spam as many numbers as you can oh, until you no, get it, it right. On the other one. Oh my goodness, is it on the other one? I'm on a new computer. It's killing me. I don't have everything. Oh, here it is. I got it. Oh my goodness. Him. Okay. Okay. I got him. I got to find one. I'm just going to pick one. I hope it's you, a good one. You pick one. I'm just going to go to it. I'm going to do my very best. I hope it's a good one. Oh, I, I, it was one of 13. It was one of 13, but I'm okay. hyped. Let's okay. get it, bro. Good let's shit. see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. <laughs> 
Hey. Okay. I'm gonna wait for this beat to drop. Hey, it's Axie GG. It's Chief. It's Bryson. It's the Elite. Hey. Yeah, I'm really soft spoken. My game is on a hundred. It's the Elite Open. If you wanna know me, you know my game ain't free. I switch it up and double up and tell them, oh baby, wait. I ball like I'm Kobe. Try and find me. Snakes up in the grass, shoot them out just like I'm Siamese. Ice cold flows, man. Don't even chase me. Hey, wait, whoa, it's blockbuster like some late fees. My game so damn crazy. I ball in the crib now. I go so damn hard. Yeah. You know where I live now I'm out in Miami Come Kobe, try and find me Snakes up in the grass Shoot them out just like I'm Siamese Ice cold flows, man Don't even chase me Hey, wait, whoa, it's blockbuster Like some late fees My game so damn crazy I ball in the crib now I go so damn hard Yeah, you know where I live now I'm out in Miami Tell them come and see me Hey, wait, whoa, I'm the king You don't need me Tell them all how it's done, Chief, that's in the chat. Hit the triple-double layup, then I double back. I'm the youngin', I was chillin' in the colder sack. Now I'm on the moon, tell the team to go and run it back. Hey, wait, the beat is still going. The king shit, yeah, I'm still flowin'. Really, you don't believe shit. If you know me, I resign with the loot squad. Every time I freestyle, you know I'm really goin' off. Hey, a Euro step, Boston like I'm Harden. Snakes up in the grass, so I'm Madison the garden. Hey, wait, you really wanna call me? Tell them I don't call those. I don't even find these. You ain't really funny. I'm going off the flowers like I'm Bloom. Team coming soon. Real ruthless like I'm Zooming. Oh, wait, I'm never saying sorry. I'm the youngin' that's gonna pull up in a red Ferrari. Hey, shout out to the Axie GG team. I'm rapping on the beat. It's a whole dream. When I finish flying out to the Philippines, thriller in Manila. That's how it really be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let go. My man. <laughs> my, my dude. Hopping in, dropping the fire for the peeps. They were like, Chief, get in. And I ran. Oh, I haven't freestyled in such a long time. I'm not ready. I'm nah. not ready. Oh, my goodness. I'm more of a writer. Dude, no, no, no. That was um that beat is that beat is absolutely insane, by the way. I, I really I really enjoyed that one. But dude, has anybody won this giveaway yet? I'm still seeing numbers being spammed in the chat, but I think wait, did we have a winner or not yet? Are they're going? They're definitely going. I haven't Man. got a message yet. Zaki won. Okay, we got one win. Zaki won one winner. Oh, that's absolutely insane. Dude, you know what's crazy? That beat, dude. You got beats like that in the in the in the in the in the, in the vault, bro. We gotta come on. We gotta collab on something. We gotta collab on something. We can do some. a thing, bro. Hey. We gotta do the uh, tingies. We gotta do the tingies. My boy Ollie Banyo from Germany made those beats. Um he's look him up. He 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 was one of the OGs of the German rap scene. And he's still out there, he's still hustling, he's still doing his tingy. And he made those beats. We're actually going to put a song together. And this is actually something I wanted to talk to you about. If you didn't want to get in on it, I want to hit up Elijah as well and some other guys that might want to get interested from the Philippines and yeah. do like a little Axie World Anthem is kind of what I was thinking. Oh, I, I think that would I think that would be absolutely insane. Um, I definitely want to want to be involved. Uh, I think Elijah would be awesome to have involved too. Maybe we could come up with something that's insane in the membrane. I think there's so much talent in the Axie community. Yeah, and I mean, on top of that, if we want to take it to the next level, you know, leak for the stream only, we have a connection to Snoop Dogg, and I want to get him on the track, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> because Dude. Snoop loves crypto, and I would love to have Snoop drop some bars on an Axie song, and that would be freaking amazing. So, you know, me, you, Elijah, Snoop, and Ollie, and, you know, we'll see if we can't get some more stars to just hop yeah. in and, and do the tingy, because why the hell not? Yeah. We're part of the revolution, so get out there. Let go. Yeah, exactly. And, and and I'm guessing these players are, you know, gearing up for for the second half of the games. Chief, I, I need to run to the quick, take a quick bathroom break. Can you can you hold down the set for us for a yeah, couple no, minutes? Yeah, do a quick commercial. I'll go to the bathroom as well. Alanga will do the second giveaway, and we'll keep it going right after. They should be almost ready. Awesome, awesome guys. We will be right back. Someone said I'll drop some Axie bars, Bryson, in the chat. We we would love to see that. Come on, 
Hop into the yeah, boy. Hop into the action with us. We are, you know, we're building, we're growing, we're doing everything we can. We're gonna hop into a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back, guys. Insane stuff, insane stuff indeed. We're, we're, we're so we're so blessed to be able to all get together for another Axie tournament. And if you're winning Elite Coin right now, make sure you jump into that Elite Discord. Make sure you get involved with all the action. Amazing stuff happening there. They've been building community for a very long time and um, just a great place to be. So make sure you get your votes in, make sure you get those numbers in and congrats to the winners. Uh, we're gonna be hopping into set number set number two in game and match number one. Uh, it, it's been a good one so far. Uh, so we'll see what we'll see what continues to happen as things continue to transpire. But um, it should be a good closeout to this first set. Then we'll hop into round number two and and get the action back underway again. Yeah. So I want to give a little shout out to Leet and the Whale Shark. You know, been going hard supporting these tournaments for a long time now. And the truth is, this is just the beginning for Elite. Uh, we're about to be launching on DCL. DCL is ready. Crypto voxels, all the metaverses are starting to, you know, mature and turn into an actual thing where before, you know, it was just kind of a, a, a dream and, you know, some not so impressive mini games. So things are growing, things are happening now. And I'm really excited that lead is gonna be able to show themselves at their full potential because, you know, it's a clothing company, but we wanna start with digital first. We wanna give you guys the digital wearables so you can wear them in the digital worlds and be like, hey, yo, that's cool. I wanna wear that in real life. And then we make the real sweatshirts, the real t-shirts, right? That's the whole business plan. So it's it's been a little bit slow because the metaverses haven't quite been there. But if you've been watching the coins, you've been seeing the hype is coming and it looks like these projects are about to all deliver and take their game to the next level. You know, Axie led the charge. That's the tip of the spear. And now we got to see what other projects, what other games come out and do well. Because remember, guys, this is not a zero-sum game. Because another game that's good doesn't mean Axie does worse. That's not how this works. There are almost 8 billion people in the world. And that means there's plenty of people left that want to play games and earn money to play video games. And another thing, for people that are complaining about SLP, man, SLP was worth less than a cent for most of the time that I've been in Axie. So I don't want to hear it. You're still making money for playing a video game. And that's still freaking awesome. That is very that true. Was not a, that, is not a, that was not a thing even a year ago. So like, take the roller coaster ride for what it is. Enjoy the ride. Don't get caught up on the details. Like, oh my God, SLP went down three cents. Okay, so it went down. Yeah, they have to fix their economics. It's not perfect. So now they change the breeding and we're going to see how it works. No one has ever done this before. It is the first time anyone has done this. So, you know, cut them some slack. It's not easy. And we all got to just go with it. Let's not make it harder than it has to be. That's all I got to say. Because yeah, I got wrecked by the aqua nerf. I got wrecked by the bumpy uh, bone sail nerf. I got wrecked over and over and over. And yeah, I'm pissed about that. It sucks as an investor, you know? So, yeah. but but at the same time, the money that I lost is money I made off of Axie. So it's kind of like, okay, you know, let's go with it. Let's go with it. Let's roll with the punches and let's see what we can do to help. That's why we're here. That's why we keep doing esports tournaments. We keep giving you guys something to watch. We want to keep the show rolling, keep the ball rolling, no matter what. That's how we roll, baby. That's how we do. That's why the community is key. Like Bryson said earlier, that is the key to everything. We make a lot of things happen and you guys are a part of it and hats off to all of you. I don't have a hat on, but if I did, I would take it off. Yeah. I, I agree with what Chief said, and and make sure that you eat a lot of Frosted Flakes because that's my favorite cereal because it tastes really good, and I, I love like creating comedic relief. Maybe that was a little cringy for some, but I enjoyed it. But Chief, who do we who do we have coming up next? I mean, do have, have these players gotten their lineup set for the next game? 
I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying. And give me one second, guys. I'm going to try to pull up the bracket so we can get a good sense. Um, give me one moment. So we had Zaki and Suwardi. So guys, to give you guys a, a quick sense of the bracket, it's a, it, it, we've, we're already starting to see some teams move into the next rounds. Axie GG White has moved on to round number two, um, and, and they're going to be, of course, a force to be reckoned with. Uh, and, and Chief, I, I want to take a quick look. Let's see who's on this team. Axie GG White is comprised of Pratap, Iron Man, and Jaga. Uh, three superstars. I actually played Jaga, played I think Jaga and Iron Man. I've had some had some run-ins with them uh, in, in in previous tournaments, so, most of which have been losses. But I think I think I pipped them one time, uh, and and that was like in the very beginning. But those guys are amazing. Man, those guys, those guys are stacked. They've been here a long time. Um, they've been a, they were our biggest opponent. They're our strongest opponent for a long time. And one day, Pratap came to me. He's like, Chief. We want to join XCGG. We need a little more structure. We want a little, we want to, we want to get better. We want to improve. And at the time it was funny because they were very raw um, and their communication, their English wasn't very amazing. So they kind of came off a little bit harsh at times and yeah. people, some people didn't like them. So we, I had a decision to make like, huh, what do I do here? They're like super talented players, but I don't want them to give us a bad image, right? So I had to make like a very tough deal with them. Like, look guys, I'm gonna give you a chance, but you have like no room for error, like no dumb stuff. Yeah. And it's been over a year and a half now and nothing has happened. Like they have been awesome. They have been absolutely fantastic teammates. They're always active. They're always communicating. They're always practicing. And when it's tournament time, you do not want to play these guys. You do not want to show up against these guys in a team tournament because they are savages. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And, um, you know, they've shown it consistently. On the, on the other side of the bracket, we've all seen Meditate has a Filipino team that is doing very well. And that is captained, I believe, by Hasheki. They have made it out of round number one. Very good, very good. Um, CTG2 and CTG1, I believe, are both in the tournament. E excellent stuff. And, and, and also, you know, the Guild 5 team. We, we've, we've lost one of the Levox, the Levox teams. New Blood goes down in round number one. But it should be a good second half uh, to the first and second round of the tournament. And Chief, going into the second round, uh, what teams are we really interested to look at? Are we going to jump on board with Meditate? Are we going to wait and see if, you know, some of the Levox guys makes it up? What, what kind of is our, our strategy uh, after we finish out and close out round one? Okay, well, first, we have our matches. We're going to have Bloom versus Chin Starks first, Ruthless versus Marcus second, and Rain versus L Dude third. Ooh. So they're switching it up. Bloom hoping to not lag out. They are <laughs> matching right now. Uh, I've been confirmed they are matching right now. For the next round, I'm open to hear what chat wants to see. Um. There's a lot of good teams out there. It's really hard to pick uh, one match for the second round. Remember, in the third round, we're going to do two. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, these guys haven't done this format that many times. So it's a little bit slow. They're, they're figuring it out. They're nervous. Yeah. So many things going on. Um, but let's see who moves on. Let's see who makes it to round two. The one match I was looking at was, you know, Axie Joy and Axie GG Elite. Ooh. The winner plays double uh, AA team esports, and these AA team guys—that's a team of Clash guys that kind of branched off and did their own thing. So that's very skilled, high-level, high-thinking players. Oh wow! And I'm really curious to how they do against you know the possibly the favorite of the tournament, unless yeah. they lose in round one. Yeah, I, I think if they if, if if the Clash guys make it, uh, we definitely might we, we definitely got to hop on with them. Uh, you know, it's 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 a thing where I'd love to see what they're able to do. And then also MT8, I'd love to see what they can do. I, I think they're going to be in, in, in good hands as well. So, you know, we're, we're in good shape, Chief, with, with the way the rounds are, are kind of rounding out. And we're just waiting for Bloom to hop into the action. I'm sure he's chomping at the bits to get back into the game after his previous lag out. And, you know, he's shown he's been a consistent player over time. So I very much expect him to get uh, on the front foot and get back to, to doing what he does best. Oh, I'm I'm definitely hoping for Bloom that he gets a clean game here. 
can bring home the dub for his team. Uh, they are playing, so it will go live any second now. And uh, I'm excited to see how he goes. Yeah, we're just I'm waiting just, for the match to pop. Yeah, just waiting for the pop. We got the lineups. We are ready to rumble. Sorry for the delays, guys. It happens. It happens. But it looks like round one is coming to an end in the background, which is great. That means, you know, everyone is doing their tingy. It's rolling. Come on. Come on. Pop for me, baby. I, I see the Citadel has moved on. So they're going to be playing Axie GG or DXK. Ooh. Uh, above another Axie GG team, they're going to be playing CTG or another AA team. So AA's got two teams in there. Meta TA, Meta, Meditate moved on. Let's see who's on this Meditate team. Oh, they have a they, they have a pretty solid team. Uh, I'm I, King big fan of Kyled and Hasheki. That is a very good team. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge I'm a huge fan of uh, of, of Hasheki's game. I think he's been. I think he's been one of the players uh, that, that really came on strong. He reminds me a lot of Bloom. I, and I think him and Bloom have had, have had some pretty uh, insane games against each other, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Hasheki has definitely been since, you know, this whole big Axie wave has started. One of the players in the esports scene that has consistently just done really well. He's yeah. a very strong player. Hasn't quite made it to the top four, or top or finals level yet, I don't believe. But top eight, top 16, like every tournament, every single tournament. Dang, I don't know why this game has yet to pop. We are still waiting. I, I'm actually quite confused as well. And, 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 you know, for my own selfish reasons, Chief, you know, at Loot Squad, we're trying to get our foot into the competitive scene a little bit more. We've been slowly taking our time, but I'm, I'm always out here scouting and seeing what these free agents are looking like and uh, seeing who we can add to the roster uh, to kind of help round out our, our, our future Loot Squad esports team. And, you know, some of these guys, man, the talent levels are just exceptional. Man, it's tough. There's a lot of talent out there. And it's crazy because you see you know, most of the best players, they've got a name by their name, right? They're, they got a Buaz or a Guild Fi or Axie GG or CTG. Like, a lot of the top talent is under wraps at the moment, but there's so much talent out there. Because remember, guys, like, some people are playing with three Axies, right? Yeah. So they only have three Axies, and they're still killing it. They're still making it, like, top 1,000, which is, like, ridiculous. But you don't see the guy that's at 900th place with a bad team. You don't really notice that. It's hard to, to, to really, like, eye that out of the crowd, right? So you need tournaments, and you need a com competition. Uh, you need competition for these people to prove themselves and to yeah. show that, hey, I am really freaking good, even though I only have one team. No, okay, you're... so we're having technical issue issues again in the app. Aye, aye, aye. Not again. Ugh. 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 They're restarting Ugh. the app. They've been trying. Oh. oh, why, Axie gods, do you do this to us? We're just trying to get the tournament going. The Lords of Lunasia, please let it work. My fingers I mean, are least, crossed. At least things are like overall working, but not super efficient, but they are working. So that, that's that's good. I've, I've had it worse. Yeah. I, Bloom I, is having issues today. He's oh. definitely having issues. Yeah, Bloom is Bloom is just going through it at this point, you know. And, and you know, for players, guys, you got to remember, it's also like any traditional sport where you know you warm up all morning, you're playing matches, you're getting off the schneid, and then you run into these technical issues, and it's like you go cold. It's like you know, you, you know, you start to you start to get a little tight. Your muscles, your your mental capacities aren't expanding like you need them to, and you never know how this could play in, into the dynamic with all of these players having to sit here and think, oh, you know, what am I going to play? you know how all these scenarios are going to play out you have to take into account the mental game in axe infinity is in incredibly important and right now it's almost like these players are being iced am i right chief yeah they are kind of being ice but they are also in oh they are in they are in indeed so three two one let go let's see if bloom can handle finishing a game oh my Jim goodness starks using the same team and bloom using the same team as reg bringing out the literal copycat version of the triple aquas oh my god <laughs> so this is proof that this is a scout yeah uh the the gg boys believe that the triple aqua is the matchup against this and we kind of saw it last time it kind of is like that it, it was close but it yeah yeah 
Yeah, I, I, I find it hard to believe that we don't see a similar outcome to the one that we previously just saw, <laughs> where they're just not enough damage in the back door. And maybe maybe Chen decides to go in a different manner here. Maybe he decides to just go directly into the front guy. But he, I, I don't know, Chief. I don't know if he can, I don't know how easy it'll be for him to pull this out with that lineup. Well, it felt like last game, everything went the way Chin wanted it. Chin got the cards, they got the energy, they got the Ronins, they got like everything that they want uh, to win the game. And it still didn't work because they had seven energy, all the cards in the world from the cattail, and it still didn't work. Yeah. They still didn't quite break through. So that tells me, you know, they're going to have to switch it up maybe the backdoor cards are not the play and you just don't really use those you just go through the front yeah and, and i'm surprised that chen didn't decide to switch it up I, I guess he wasn't expecting bloom to to have an identical lineup uh you know to his previous adversary but it, it puts him in a position where you know his game is pretty strained the beast cards just don't do enough damage on the aquas and, and it makes it incredibly incredibly tough to get through this type of a lineup yeah, and let's see how uh, Bloom plays his pumpkins if he draws any. And also, you know, with all these beast moves, Reg didn't draw amazing. He drew solid, and he didn't play perfect, right? He, he, he played a pumpkin round one, for example, that did nothing. But still, the matchup was just in his favor. So I'm very interested to see how Chin, like you said, switches it up, because Chin knows what's coming. Yeah, and do you see any win, uh, any like win scenarios? If you're Chin and, and you're playing with this lineup, what is the first thing you're, you're going to look to attack? If, you know, if you're not going to go for the back door. Well, if I draw super super high damage cards, I just try to erase the front Aqua fairly soon. If not, I'm probably going to basically sacrifice my tank. Try to get max value out of the pincer. It's all value. Every card on the tank is value, yeah. no matter how you use it, basically. Uh, so I use the tank cards as much as possible. I go into the 2v3, and then I you need that mech to really just go ham. Yeah. Like, okay, here it is, getting the value. I wouldn't have used the cattail, but uh, eh. Yeah, it eh. seemed a bit early for the cattail. Uh, seemed eh. a bit early. Cattail was the card that gave Chin a chance last game. So you really want to use the cattail in a way that is really good. And oh. here he's going back door again. And he, he's going to be able to get I don't it off. Know if I, he does skip the pumpkin, which is nice. But that is pretty good. The dusk isn't going to do uh, an incredible amount of damage, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't think this is going but to be. But he's going to kill, isn't he? Wait, oh, he no, is going to kill. He is going to kill. Well oh, done it, by Chin. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff indeed. And, and maybe, you know, with the aqua advantage, maybe he still tries to get a card off here. We'll see what he does, and it looks like he um he actually does go to get a get a card off, which is not going to do an, an an insane amount of damage, but ultimately you know it, things are looking pretty good for Chin so far. Yeah, I wouldn't be complaining if I was Chin. Bloom definitely has a lot of damage cards in hand, which is scary, um, and the energy to back it up. Ooh, but that looks. Wait, no, that is not an over commit because he's gonna get the kill on the front guy. Well oh, done. Oh yeah, this is a great. This looks like a great play coming out from Bloom. He's gonna be able to brick wall, and he's gonna be able to stay alive. Even gets the crit to add insult to injury, and a fair amount of damage gonna come in here on the dusk, and he's gonna get shredded by those dual blades. Give me some more. But look at the back door, Chief. Yeah, but what back that? I mean, that one. I don't understand that. That was not a smart play to use that single card. Uh, yeah. The single. The, the the smart shot wait no not what is it called so, yeah it is smart shot the single smart oh. shot did not make sense there yeah and then bloom uh, and bloom is just getting ready to dominate he's going to be able to shred another kill and it's going to be all up to the beast against the double aqua lineup i can't say he has much left going for him here no and like honestly in chin's position here you'd rather have that one energy and that one card in hand so you can get the kill here and then still try to put up the shield next turn it wouldn't have mattered but it could have made it a bit closer. And there it is, a good old GG no re. This time a little bit closer than the first time we saw this matchup, but Bloom, Bloom coming in clutch again and showing why that lineup is the better one. Hey, but it was close. 74 was. HP, 74 HP. Well played by Chin, well played by Bloom. Good job to both players. Yeah, I, I And think, that's what I like to see. 
I, I do agree with you. I think I think Chen played that lineup as best as possible and uh, against that triple Aqua, and he really made it close. Um, and, and you know now he just has to rely on his teammates to be able to come up with with, with a bit of magic. Uh, but Bloom showing that you know there is no rust, there is no jitters. He picks the right team, he does the thingies, and he's able to clean up the win very much in Axie GG fashion. The smart shot, though, I don't understand that. That was a bit much. Because for so many reasons, you don't want to waste the energy. It doesn't do any damage. And you don't want to redraw the smart shot, right? So there's so many reasons not to use it. But look, we are on track now. Reg is in the game. Let's go. Three, oh. two, one. Lego. I'm st oh, Reg, Reg is in already? Yep. Oh, my goodness. They're quick. They're quite fast. Yeah, they're, they're trying to bring it back for that slow start that we had. I appreciate that, guys. Well done. Oh my goodness, and Chief, look at what we have coming up here. What can you tell me about this? I joined the wrong these... game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too excited. It's all good. I, I'll get us started. It looks like we have a similar a similar, line, similar lineup, excuse me, coming out of Marcus from Starks.ph, running that beautiful, sexy looking cute bunny mech in the middle. And on the other end, we see a bit of a lineup change coming out from Ruthless Reg. It's going to be the Gravel Lance Sensei on the back and a double Aqua set up in the front. So definitely putting himself in a position to, to to be extremely effective in this game with so many bug and beast cards being at play so i gotta say reg uh this is such a hard counter this is disgusting yeah it, it's the crazy aquas in the front the aquas in the front basically make the cute bunny like kind of useless you're not gonna get the stuns like you want them like you can play a stun into the next round. That is a play, but it's really freaking hard. And it's hard to know what cards they have and boopity yeah. boppity beat. So it's not a very safe play. Like usually when you have the cute button, you're like, okay, I'm going to just like stun him and he can't do anything. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Not the case when he already attacked you. And, and Chief, I have to ask you, what is, where is Marcus going to be able to find the damage from? I mean, I know the mech can do a lot of damage. It has the cuckoo. It has all of the little features and things you would want. But against a double aqua, it's just going to find itself having a very hard time with so many cards that don't do comparable damage against aquas. Well, it's funny. His backline yak is actually the like the hot butt cactus yeah. is what he needs to get the early game rolling. And it's funny because the hot butt cactus is not going to be that great in the late game when he gets gravel anted. So he kind of wants to use those early, get the damage, get the value, I think, and try to get into a 2v1. He needs to get into a 2v1, but that's going to be so hard when the mech is slower than the aquas and it doesn't have Arco. And the aqua has Arco. Ah! Yeah, I, I totally agree. It, it, it's looking... Ah. It's looking like it could be very iffy. As you guys know, the Axie servers are a bit behind, so it's gonna take us about two minutes before we catch up to actual real time in the game. And we have these segments at the beginning where we're talking through the teams. And man, I have to say that Axie GG guys are really just anti-stratting uh, Starks really hard right now. And and, and on, on top of that, they're also playing incredibly well. I like this flow though. Uh, from now on, anyone watching the stream that's playing, as soon as the first game in your set is done in the streamed matches, start the second one because we have the delay. So it's fine. Like, just go. Yeah. Get it. Get it, girl. You do you. Get in your bag. And, and dude, the anticipation is killing me. Every time we have to wait and sit here, especially when you get to the finals and semifinals, it's like you're just on the edge of your seat. I mean, you can kind of predict how these games are going to go, but everyone knows you're only one crit away from changing the game completely. Yeah, man. I mean, like... <clears throat> You see these teams and you know Marcus is sitting there like, whew, I got to do it. I got to do it. I'm the strongest player on my team. I got to show it. You know, I just won a tournament. I got second place again. I I'm here. I'm against the big boys now. And I want to show the world what, you know, Starks.ph is all about. Yeah. Oh, and, and there we have it, Chief. We're getting into the action in round number one. What are we going to see? We're seeing uh, some, some damage coming out right away from Marcus. Well played. I like the play. Uh, this is a very uh, interesting play from Reg, playing the Gravel first. It gets rid of three of the cards, but Marcus used like two or three cards already yeah. on that plant. He so did. well, good, good round for Marcus, definitely. 
Yeah, and I guess from um, I guess from from Reg's standpoint, you know, with him using the gravel in, he's able to pretty much stop any potential energy gain coming in uh, from from Marcus because of because of that gravel in usage. So it might actually end up being a better play for him, Chief. Yeah, no, it was definitely solid because he's gonna lose his Axie in the front right here. There's just no world where this Axie survives. This cactus is gonna hurt, but without a crit, it's not gonna be enough. And Ruthless in a tough spot. He didn't really get to get any pumpkin value off that front guy. Yeah. So Marcus doing the Blitzkrieg definitely catches Ruthless off guard and does great. Oh my great goodness. job so far. Not he, enough. Not enough. The brick wall too strong. Too strong. And he's even gonna stay alive. He's gonna get the energy gain back in, but he's not gonna be able to grab any energy because Wait. he didn't he didn't combine it with the uh, with the plan card. Why did he just do double Bidens? I don't understand that. I do not understand why he just did double bite. Well, do you think he, you think maybe he did it so he doesn't redraw again until late stages of the game? No, you want to keep him in your hand. That way you always draw the other cards. There's oh. no backdoor from Marcus. Well, so he's... there's no reason I don't think to use that Biden's. I'm so confused. All right, oh so here's goodness. the mech. Here's the mech's turn to but, do big tingies. But can he survive the mech? The skill is going to come out. It's going to be a ton of damage. It's 148. It's going to be enough, maybe, Chief. No, it's too much. It is too much. Oh, and... Oh, but he's going to be able to get one card off, Chief. If he can get the... If and, he can get the risky. And that, that, that cactus was also useless. That didn't do anything. Oh, Oof, my that goodness. That was a big one. That was a big hit. But the fear, the fear, and Marcus is going to win this. Marcus oh my is going to push it to another game three. I'm. This is exciting. I don't know, Chief. You can't speak too soon. There's still a lot of time left. There's still a lot of time left. And I have to say, Marcus does not have any more mech cards. If he can get that, if Rufus But look, it, he got another fear off. Bro. Oh, the another fear again. Fear. That's, the uh, double fear, two rounds in a row. The cute bunny coming through because the aquas are no longer. Ah, and all the misplays by Reg using all the. Oh boy, I don't, I don't Reg know. is I, gonna be kicking himself. No, I think Reg is still in the game. I think Reg truly he's is not though. Look, oh well, he's will he kill? This is gonna be close. Oh my god, he's gonna be able to this shed off the fear. Close. He's gonna be able to shed the fear. Reg is still in this, guys. He is still in this. If he gets the gravel and oh, off, double it's cactus. gonna be yeah, game. You're right. He's gonna get him in the last okay, stand. Last stand. Last stand. Oh, that's ugly. But okay, let's oh. see. Can he draw Biden? Does he draw the Bidens here? Does he draw he the Bidens? To... And imagine if he had his Bidens from earlier, right? Like oh my right God. now, just one in hand. Oh, and he one doesn't Biden. get it. Oh, and he doesn't draw the Bidens, but but oh, Marcus but he... plays his card. Oh my God, Marcus might have played. What has Marcus no. done? Whoa, oh, the critical's gonna the come in, Chief. Oh my God, it's huge. It. It's huge. I it's coming in. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Is this happening? I is told this happening. I think this is happening. That is absolutely insane. The 2v1's There's a coming gravel in. Land. He has There's another a gravel. gravel. Land. In hand. He has another he gravel. Oh, oh my, my god. Goodness. That is absolutely exceptional play coming out from Rufus Reg. I felt like he was still in the game, Chief, and he's showing us that he is still in the game. You are absolutely right, my friend. And here he comes with another heal. The oh, and, and another, another, crit another critical. Another critical. The heal. This is unbelievable. Marcus is so mad right now. I would be pissed if I was Marcus. That's... This is nuts. Oh, this, this is, is not. Oh, draw gravel. And he oh drew my. The gravel. Of course he drew the gravel. Of course he did. It's been, you know, two rounds. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm never going to let Chief live it down that he thought the game was over. And I was oh still on Ruthless Reg. And he's going to get the gravel off again there's just nothing nothing marcus can do chief mistakes were made mistakes were made oh, oh my goodness that's absolutely insane in the membrane and probably the craziest thing about it was marcus just couldn't get out of his own way he did not have enough energy to kill ruthless reg off and look at that the comeback oh. is complete axi gg gonna take the set they're gonna take the match and move on to round wow. number two GG. Wow, 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 wow. That was incredible, Reg. I'll never doubt you again. I'm sorry. I'm oh. sorry. Forgive me. I love you. I love you. And, and surely, surely, Chief, he had to have known that he was still in the game at that point. I, I, I was just, I was hoping, I was praying, but there it was. He was able to enact the complete comeback, and that was completely uh, exceptional play on Reg's standpoint. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Goods, not goods. Say. Goods, not goods. Goods, not goods for everybody out there. Holy crap. No. So I'm looking at the bracket. I'm looking at the bracket, and I'm thinking, who do we want to watch next? And you know what was crazy about that last game, Chief? On top of the, having the vegetal bite to get the heal off, he got a critical on two, on two vegetal bites. That's 226 HP he was able to gain back from those two criticals. That was, you know, a, a bit of RNG, a bit of luck, but you got to hand it off to him because he played his cards as perfect as you could have played them in that late game. Dude, that was nuts. I didn't think it was possible. He got hit with the cute bunnies back to back to back. And I'm just like, there's no way. And then he comes through and he's like, Chief, shut up. You're wrong. <laughs> Let go. Uh, so now we have that same Axie team. That team is going to be going up against uh, Meditate in, in the next round. Uh, and, and, and some other areas, we have Axie GG going up against the Citadel. Double A Team Esports. Looks like they were able to 3-0. And, and oh my goodness, I, I I'm still cannot wrap my head around that last game. I am, it's, I'm out of sorts. I am as well, and we're going to follow it up with some more epicness. We're going to show Indez. Indez hasn't played in a tournament in a long time. It has been about as – it has been a long time. It oh, has it, been like six weeks. Indez is in this he's, one? He's in this one. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to show him. They just beat Axie Joy 2-1. to one. Axie Joy put up a hell of a fight, it seems like, because it took a long time. So they're going to be playing the Clash – misfits that left Axie GG and made their own little band of brothers, you know, so this is a little bit of a grudge match. These guys are trying to prove themselves and I want to see this. Oh my... I absolutely want to see this. Oh my God. I'm getting, I'm, 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 I'm literally shaking just thinking about it. When you think of players like Indez, you think of, you think of Lionel Messi, you think of Cristiano Ronaldo and you look at this team of, 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 of players, of former Axie GG players have made their own thing now, and they're ready to go on up against the final boss, which has been Indez and Axie GG for quite a long time. It's insane. And, and it looks like someone has recently got the clip. I think someone recently clipped um, the last game. So if you could drop that in the chat, we'd love to get a, an instant replay reaction from the previous game. Yes, any clips you guys draw, please put it on social media at me and Bryson and Lee and Axie and everybody at the peeps. You know, let's get this on Twitter. Let's get people knowing what's going on. We've got the hype here. We've got the best players in the world going at it head to head. Minus Elijah. Sorry, my dude. But, you know, I tried. I tried. You got the invite. We do miss you, Elijah, and we know that you'll be back next time. But guys, let's look back at the instant reaction. This game just took place. We're going to give you uh, the head and look again at the wonderful play coming in from Ruthless Reg to take his Axie G team to round number two. Get it, get it, Whoa, get the it. critical's going to come in, Chief. Go. Oh, my God. It's huge. It's huge. It's coming in. It. Oh, my oh God. God. It's happening. I told you. happening. I think this is happening. That is absolutely insane. The 2v1's coming. What has Marcus oh. done? Whoa, oh, the critical's going to come in, Chief. Oh, my God. You love to see it. You love to see it. Great stuff coming in again from Axie GG. And I'm, I'm super excited to see Indez. I haven't seen him play in a tournament in quite some time. So it'll be amazing to see him getting back into the action and, and doing what Indez does best, which is taking teams to finals and winning games and, and being one of the most consistent Axie players the world has ever seen. Well, I got to say, no, he's been absolutely the most consistent player the world has ever seen because every single tournament he's in, I think he's gotten like first rounded one or two times ever, but he's played like 40, 30 tournaments, right? Yeah. So that's a pretty damn good ratio. Most people haven't even been in Axie for 30 tournaments. He's been around, he's been doing his thingy, and ever since his second season as a player, he's been competing for the win. You know, back in the day, Nate from YGG was the top dog. And it took a while, but Indez eventually took the crown. And now the rest of the world is trying to take the crown from him. You know, so we'll see. We'll see. People got a long way to go. You know, when people claim to be the best in the world or to be number one or this and that, I'm like, look, man, oh. have a list of tournament wins in second and third places like Indez does, and then we can talk. And, and, and Chief, we've recently got some, some deeper insights on why he did the double Bidens. Uh, apparently, Ruthless used the double Bidens because he knew that 
uh, the plant, I mean, the Axie that he was, that had the Bidens at the back was faster than his other Axie. So his thought process was use the double Bidens so that way at the end of the round, he wouldn't have to carry the fear into the next round, which was actually an insane big brain play that at the time wow. we thought wasn't a great play. Wow, you're right. That is a big brain play. That is such a big brain play, Reg. Brilliant. I love. I in in hindsight, it didn't actually work, but freaking awesome attempt. I like that. Yeah. That is thinking a step ahead. That is taking a risk to come back in a situation that's not so great. Um, but at the end of the day, he won it, and that was insane. Oh shit, we need everyone to add us. Yeah, I just added Indez as a friend. I need the uh. I need the other two to to, to shoot me. Uh, I will do that right now. Awesome. Yeah, they can, if you can just give me those Ronins, I'll get them added up. But dude, guys, you're getting to see some some amazing action, some amazing tourney action. Exclamation mark bracket. I, I forgot to set that up, but I can link you the bracket. We can take a quick look at it. We are in round number two now. Some amazing stuff happened in round number one of the Axie Elite Open number six. And as you can see. Some individuals still playing in round number one. Round number two is going to be getting kicked off here. It's going to be Axie GG, the E1337 sponsored team, going up against Double A Team Esports. Uh, the Clash Royale guys, they were able to get a 3-0 in round number one. And, you know, Axie GG able to considerably clean up round number one as well, uh, doing what they have to do, get the 2-1 win. So this is going to be, like as Chief called it earlier, a bit of a grudge match. And I will post the link in the chat as well. All right, so I have D Drag. Let me see. I have D drag. Boopity boppity beep. And if you guys didn't notice, Polaco is not playing currently. Uh, he's being replaced by D drag. Bryce, are you planning because... on? Because. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh no, I'm so... oh, I didn't realize I had a. Uh, I was supposed to be in another tournament today. Uh, it must have slipped my mind, and I have a game that starts in a couple of minutes. Ah. I... I mean, if if, 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 <laughs> if I can play the game right now on stream and, and, and like the entire stream can watch me play in the round, I'll, I'll 100% play in it. Let me um let me message Chief if you're okay with that. Uh, hey, bro, it, 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 we'll make it work. That'd be some funny random shit. But <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, this will be a little tough to, to time, but when is your match? This will be hilarious. And I'm messaging the guy now. Oh my God. I don't even have a team set, but uh, <laughs> if this works, imagine playing in a tournament and casting another one at the same time and winning. Yes, I, I want to play in it. Uh, if I can play in it right now and we can we can take a short intermission, that I'm going to be streaming and playing it at the same time. This might be the first time this has actually ever happened. <laughs> I think it probably is. Uh, can someone give me details on who I'm supposed to be playing? If you're the other thing is, is Indez also has to play. Oh, <laughs> and he and him and you are like next to each other in the bracket. Oh my god, am I gonna have to play him if I make it past? No, the first? no, no, no. But like you play and then he plays, or he plays and then you play type of thing. Let's see if I can. Let me see if I can talk with somebody to to get into. Um, to, I gotta figure out, Chief. Uh. <laughs> this um, is this is hilarious. Um oh boy. I don't even know. I don't even have an answer to this. <laughs> this is like some next level new era shit for sure. Tagged you in Discord. Uh Bryce, please add each other friends. Okay, who am I playing? Oh, I got oh my god, Chief. This is gonna be hilarious. Chief, you gotta help me here. I, I, who I'm, are you playing? I have no clue, but we're gonna we're, we're gonna make the tingies work. So guys. This is the first, this is the first ever. I'm about to play in a tournament while casting with Chief on another tournament. So you're gonna get Chief's live reaction of me playing in another tournament at the exact same time. This is Axie GG elite action that you don't get. A lot of times, there's, I don't think there's ever been a time where a caster has played uh, in a tournament at the exact same time, but you're gonna get my live reaction as I play this tournament. And you're gonna get me like trying to figure out which team to play. I have no clue what I'm going, who I'm playing against, what I'm playing against. Uh, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We're doing tingies all day. So what I'm thinking is we let Indez play his first match. Okay. 
like like for the uh for the for the teams right for right now yeah like he goes like now um he'll go first because then you can do your thing he can and then he's done he's good to go um while we do the other matches yep awesome i sent in as a friend request on the um uh, I'm gonna get. So the make other... sure to delay your match long enough so that Indez is done, and then we can pause after that. Awesome, awesome. Let me add. Uh, let me add drag. Oh, I think I've already added him as a friend. Perfect. This is insane. What what a day of action. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> well, it's crazy because there's three tournaments going on right now. This one, the winter one that you're in. And then the live event in Argentina. There's literally three esports events going oh on my. at the same time across the world. Pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. Yeah, I, I think it just shows the, the strength of where Axie Esports is going. And, and the fact that there could be so much cross collaboration for these tournaments is insane. <clears throat> Absolutely, man. And there's more big things coming. I'm working on some stuff. Uh, we're we're going to be doing some dailies on community gaming. So there's going to be tournaments going on every single day for you guys. And you know, air in Vegas next year. Bryson and I are gonna be casting it. Big things coming, and we just keep on going, keep on flowing. You already know, baby. We out here, leg out. Absolutely. So, are we are we hopping into the game number one? Oh, I'm, I apparently I'm. They're, they're telling me I need to start my game now. Start game, please. Do not forget to have a one minute break between games. Thank you. Uh, Endes, I need your help on this one. Can you tell them to play your match first? <laughs> no just tell them to hold on a second because you're casting another event and <laughs> we're working on it our opponents haven't set lineup yet you can place her okay indez is indez isn't ready yet their lineups aren't set so i think we can hop all into right, this all right. uh, okay then go for it where's this? what is it a best of three uh, i think it is but we're gonna be able to show it all on screen so it'll be it'll, it'll be some fun content uh what am i gonna Give me a second, guy. I need to switch my lineup up because I've been showing this lineup way too much. He's going to know exactly what I'm playing. Chief, I don't know what to run. hi yi yi Bro, uh, definitely play mech because mech good. All right, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do, Chief. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go backline mech. Uh, I'm going to put my... I'm going to I'm gonna play double Axie Kiss and I'll play double Energy Steel just to add insult to injury. And this is what we will go with. For round number one let's let's hop into this and see what my opponent is going to be running uh where is he Sianchu. okay cool cool guys we're we're, we're playing in a tournament right now <laughs> this, this, <laughs> it, it isn't every day that this happens uh, I'm, I'm waiting to challenge him and we'll see hopefully right. he's not screen he's not screen showing me right now while you get this going i will be right back in like two minutes take your time oh my god we're in the game guys we're in the game uh, I don't even know how I got into the tournament, but if you look at what I have coming in the round number one, I get the double energy steal. We have to test it out. We we have to see if we can hit the double energy steal first going into round number one. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth us going for it. I'm gonna end my turn. I'm, I'm good here. I'm good here. I feel I feel pretty good. He's got to be saving for the for the backdoor shrimp, of course. If he isn't saving for the backdoor shrimp, uh, it's gonna be quite tough. But he can't backdoor shrimp me in round one. Surely there's no chance. Casting while playing, absolutely. I'm hoping he passes here. If he passes, we're gonna steal a ton of energy and pretty much destroy his backdoor opportunity. Casting while playing. I think he's nervous. I think I think he's a little bit nervous. No delay. There is oh, and he he goes into round number one pretty heavy. Expected, expected. Damage coming in. Damage coming in. Okay. Okay. So that means he's not going to go for the, um, he's not going to go for the, uh, for the chance to backdoor. That's fine. He's going to be on zero energy, zero energy going into the next round. That's fine. Oh, but that's a ton of damage that's coming in there. My plant is, it's looking quite rough, looking quite rough for my plant. I, I think in this type of, I, 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 ah. Uh. No, I don't need a delay. Size Chew is a Hearthstone Pro? Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure. I think I pass here. I, I, I don't think... Um, 
He played some beast cards. I don't think it's I think I don't think it's optimal to go for it there. So I think passing is the is like the only potential play. Maybe I could have got an energy gain, but he goes watering can too. So I I think that's like the um I think that's the optimal play here. Because he still he still wastes a, a, a fair amount of cards. So he should be on two. Um we kind of want to save up a bit. Hmm. Is mech meta? Yeah. Now this is kind of uh I'm, I'm wondering i'm wondering if i want to pass here and risk him not having beast cards but i think you just play one three energy going into next round especially if we pull the double serastes nope we got to keep him alive tough 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 call here two two maybe three yeah yeah i'm, I'm just trying to figure out how i want to play this I think I risk it. I risk it. Absolutely well played on our end. Beautiful, beautiful risk. Beautiful risk cost analysis. Come on. Come on. All right, let's see. Should have a fair amount of cards. Should have a fair amount of cards coming into this round. We really need to get to the 1v1. I think if we get to the 1v1, we stand a uh, quite fair chance. He could backdoor us though. He, he could go for a backdoor here. Uh, so the way I'm going to play this uh, is by simply just, just running something like that. And, and there it is. I, I figured he would go backdoor. So I think we I think we played this correctly based on the, the All right. How scenario. are we doing, my dude? How uh, are we doing? It, it's, it's, it's looking a little... It's not bleak. It's not bleak. I think we played that... Uh, He's, he's low on energy, so he doesn't have any energy, but we, we definitely need to uh, finish him off as quickly as possible. So we're going to do something like this. Now, this is a bit of a gamble, uh, but the idea behind this is, depending on how he plays this, we steal some energy, and actually this is perfect. He passes, so he's, we steal the energy, we leave him on three, we get the kill. Uh, it, it's going to be an exceptional, exceptional close to the game. Now he's going to be on three energy. Three energy, four card combination comes out. Four card com combo probably does enough. Ooh, but he, it's close. Yeah, but he also has to worry about. I think what we do. I, th I think, I think we have to try to do something like this, and it, like it, like snail, yeah. maxi kiss rice. Yeah, exactly. I knew he had three energy, so he's gonna do damage. Uh, I'm, I'm probably dead here, aren't I? Fuck the one sixty six. Down bad, down bad. I, I was trying to save next round to see if I could get the kiss off and, 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 and do some damage with it. So he takes game number one. He takes game number one. It's fine. So he goes back to her. Woosa. Woosa. You right. got this. So you got gonna, this. We're going to switch up. If he's if he likes going back door, let's go double talk back door. We'll run mech mid, and then we'll go immortal, immortal plant front. Either that, or I could go, I could go Araya mid. I feel like Mech mid is just so powerful in this stage of the in this stage of the game, though. You guys, what do you guys think? Do we do we go Araya? I mean, I mean, Araya is a it's a, it's a legend, right? Let's try oh, to you, let's try to build the legend. Oh, you can't change. Oh, they said you can't change teams in this tourney. That sucks. Oh shit, that's right. So that's your team now for the entire tournament. Are you serious? Oh damn. That's so funny. That was such a what a what an epic fail, but also very funny. Yeah, that's actually super. That's right. You can't change. It's the same three all tournament. You can move what position they're in. That's actually super annoying. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with the format at all. Um, right. yeah, I know why they do it so that it's not like, so people from Axie GG don't have as many options, for example. Yeah, but this is worse. This is worse than, this makes no sense. No, because floor axes, you know, you can get good axes for cheap now. So there's no reason to not, you know, be able to switch up your teams. Yeah. I'm sorry. It just makes no sense. Okay. So now we don't have to worry about the back door as much, which is great for us. That's a big, yeah, that's a big change for sure. That's a big change. Because you can win the 1v1 at the end, but not if you're down by a bunch. You yeah. need to be in a fairly, like, even position. And that is a great draw, bro. That is a great draw. Because he's not going to use his Aqua first. And, and I we doubt get, it. Oh, and we get the uh, we get the gains there. 
Oh, but he's gonna yeah, trade it. He gets all the gains. You get all the gains, though, bro. Huge. Yeah, this Huge kills. Play. This kills, but it's okay. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. He's on no energy. So ideally, my thought process is keep the pressure on. Um, I low key want to try an energy steal here. I think I think it might be the play, but I don't know if it's a. It might be worth worth leveraging two to steal one energy, so he's still kind of screwed going into the next round. Huh. So my idea is, you know, if he plays into you gotta this, risk it. You gotta risk yeah. it. Yeah. You gotta play risky here. You yeah. I, I think you play the I think you play the hero rice last one. Or axi kiss, I mean. Yeah, it's uh it's just super unfortunate. Oh, so I'm thinking honestly, I'm thinking I pass here and try to two v one with the mech. I mean try to I think I pass and let the mech die. Well, you definitely do. The mech is dead. Uh, you can play the hero, obviously, but that doesn't really, like, do much. But yeah, you save the Sarastas. He doesn't have energy steal. So he has to make a very big decision here if he's going to, like, spam in a two-card spam. I'm thinking I do something like this. I stay alive. I try the energy steal. Ideally, this should get a kill. Yeah, and he's just. I don't even know. I think you go risky, and you don't even use the snail shell. Oh, I, I, I ended up using it. Oh, it ended up working out, kind of. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. That's too it bad. It did, didn't it? Yeah, it worked out perfectly. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's go. Oh, I didn't kill him though. God damn it. Yeah, I was thinking you go with the uh, other axi kiss and skip the snail shell just to make sure you get the kill and go to the one v one. You think I do this? You think I, I think you go, puh, I th you might even go single snail shell, but that's so risky. I think I got to do it though, right? You could. Oh, that's, I, but you got to make a play here. So I think you try, try it. Single snail shell. Oh, oh, come on, <laughs> come on. It come worked. On. All right. We it just, worked. All right. We got uh, to. It worked. It worked. He's down to two energy. I don't know if you can win this, but are you in Axie Kiss range? I am. Oh, well, can't you go Snail Shell, Axie Kiss, Axie Kiss? But do you think I... <sighs> or do you go... Or do you go... I can, that I, with a two-card two combination kills me, though. So he has... Well, you know he's going to play two cards, but you also know he's probably going to outplay your Snail Shell. That's the other problem. You think I... You think... Well, he... Do you, I think you got to go Axie Kiss, Serastis, and pray. Yeah, but I gotta, I gotta play the snail or else I die. Two, two beast yeah, yeah. cards kills snail, me. Snail, axi kiss, serastus, I think. Or no, I gotta, you gotta go double axi kiss, right? No, you're right. No, because right. you don't, only, you don't get to use the second only, one. Only chances right here. You gotta uh, hope that that. Damn it, he got it. Ugh. Down bad. If I would have known that you could only use one team this entire tournament, that's so, that's such a stupid. That's so stupid. There's no like, like you just. If, if the other team has a, like a better outplay team than yours, you just lose by default. And what does the what does the Sarastas crit do? That like is yeah. so close. That is so close. I, I don't get why it was only one team for the entire tournament. <laughs> GG well played. GG well played to to to, to that guy. Uh, well done. <clears throat> All right, so back we are into the action. Go, they're going in, and it is. First match is going to be Indes versus Boopity Boppity Beep. Where is it? I just saw it. Oh, here. Wait. What? 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 GG. I think it's against Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick. I have Indes added. Well, Indes is playing first. Indes is playing first. But Indes is still not added. Come on, bro. What? What? The what? The what? Yeah, I added Indes as a friend. Did he add you back? It says he's on my friends list, I believe. Yeah, Indes Axie GG. Oh, he's in. Is he okay, in a game? He's, he uh, could be. It's possible. Is he? He's playing Kanye West right now. Oh, he is playing. Uh, oh, they're in. They're in. They're in. Let's go. All right, then hop in. Let's go. Three. Two, one, Lego. Lego. Oh, and Indes coming in with a midline gravel. Hmm, I'm loving the way this is looking, Chief.
And uh, Breezy is coming in with the old school, or old school, last season Poison team. Very interesting. Very interesting lineups here. That bird is not going to be uber efficient, but it does have the hair. And, you know, it can, it can even draw in the poison to him if he chooses. But you kind of want the poison going on to your Biden's midliner. Yeah, and um, you know what's what's interesting? If, if he can, um, if Breezy can get the back door off, uh, you know, if he gets a double Serastis in the back door, he's going to be able to remove the bird. So the bird definitely want to get as much value off as it can in the early game. Absolutely. No, absolutely. Whenever there's a back door that can pop one of your axes, you need to use that axes cards and energy as fast as possible before it gets wet, wiped out. Because if you get off all your value, often it turns out to be okay. It all works out okay. It's uh, not imbalanced or anything. Exactly. And, and I'm very interested to see how this plays out. I think that uh, that mid liner is going to be very difficult for Breezy to deal with. But if he can get some early game damage in and, and really, uh, you know, force the issue with Indes, he could put himself in a position to, to make something happen here. So Breezy coming out playing three cards right off the bat. Even though it's three energy to three, look at the cards. Our Credits to you. Thank you for watch, subscribe, or I will bite your mama.